Carl! There is a dead human in our house! Oh, hey! How did he get here? Carl, what did you do? Me? I, I, I didn't do this. Explain what happened, Carl! I've never seen him before in my life. Why did you kill this person, Carl? I do not kill people. That is, that is my least favorite thing to do. Tell me, Carl, exactly what you were doing before I got home. All right, well, I, I was upstairs. Okay. I was, uh, I was sitting in my room. Yes. Reading a book. Go on. And, uh, well, this guy walked in. Okay. So I went up to him. Yes. And I, uh, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. Carl, that kills people. Oh, oh, Carl. wow, I, I, I didn't know that. How could you not know that? Yeah, I'm in the wrong here. I suck. What happened to his hands? What's that? His hands. Why, why are they missing? Well, I, uh, I kind of uh, cooked them up and ate them. Carl. Well, I, uh, I was hungry, and well, you know, when, when you crave hands, that's. Why on earth would you do that? I was hungry for hands. Give me a break. Carl. My stomach was making the rumblies Carl. that only hands would satisfy. What is wrong with you, Carl? Well, I, I kill people and I eat hands. That's that's two things. Uh, Carl, what on earth was all that? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to. You sunk an entire cruise ship, Carl. Are you sure that was me? I, I would think I would remember something like that. Carl, I watched you fire a harpoon into the captain's face. That sounds dangerous. You were headbutting children off the side of the ship. That uh, that must have been horrifying to watch. And then you started making out with the ice sculptures. Well, thank God that the children weren't on board to see it. Ah, uh, Carl, why is the lifeboat all red and sticky? Well, I guess you could say it is red and sticky. Carl, what are we standing in? Would you believe it's strawberry milkshake? No, I would not believe that. Uh, melted gumdrops. No. Boat nectar. No. Some of God's tears. Tell me the truth, Carl. Fine. It's the lovely elderly couple from 2B. Carl! Well, they were uh, they were taking all the crescent rolls. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I will not apologize for art. Where are the other lifeboats? Whoa, you won the prize. I didn't even notice that. Where are the other lifeboats, Carl? Looking at the trajectory of the moon and the sun, probably at the bottom of the ocean. I bit lots of holes in them. Carl! I have a problem. I have a serious problem. You are just terrible today. Shh! Do you hear that? That's the sound of forgiveness. That's the sound of people drowning, Carl. That is what forgiveness sounds like. Screaming and then silence. Carl, we're supposed to be on vacation. I don't know about you, but I am having a wonderful time here. You toppled the South American government, Carl. The people have spoken. Viva la resistance. You pushed the resistance leader into a giant fan. He was a traitor and a scoundrel. He was trying to stop you from pushing other people into a giant fan. Oh, that was a foot. I appear to have swallowed an entire person. That would be the hotel bartender. Well, that explains why my mojito is taking so long. It was horrifying. Your mouth unhinged like a snake. Wow, that sounds pretty awesome. I can't go anywhere with you, Carl. That hurt my feelings. Now we're both in the wrong. I want to go home. We're leaving. In that case, I should probably mention that I filled our luggage with orphan meat. What? what? Well, I'm building a meat dragon, and not just any meat will do. You know what? Forget it. I'm not even shocked anymore. Oh, uh, that's no fun. This has become the norm for you, Carl. I'll have to try harder next time. Please don't. I feel like I've been issued a challenge. Carl! It's too late now. You. You. I totally don't remember your name. We've known each other for three years, Carl. And what an impression you've made. My name is Paul. What? I said my name is Paul. Oh. I thought you were a woman. Why would you think that? Mostly the hat. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Well, if you'll excuse me, I have some pictures to delete from my computer. Carl, you've tracked mud all over the carpet. Now that right there is a mess. I just had it clean yesterday, Carl. I'm not responsible for this. I've been jamming on the saxophone all morning. They're clearly your hoof prints, Carl. Then there is an imposter on the loose. They lead directly to you. Clue number one. The imposter is a phantom. Carl, stop avoiding... Happy birthday! It's not... Please tell me you had nothing to do with this. Why don't you blow out your candle? You've gone too far this time, Carl. What's that? It's hard to hear you over the sound of Melting City. How did you even do this? A dollop of fairy dust. Carl. I ripped the tag off a mattress. This isn't funny, Carl. Who's laughing? Clearly not all the people who just exploded. I'm leaving. I've had enough of this. But think of all the perfectly roasted faces we get to munch on now. But why? Because we're friends, and friendship is two pals munching on a well-cooked face together. That isn't friendship, Carl. That's sick. Well, then you're probably not going to like your birthday decorations. It's not even my... Oh my god. Surprise! Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm sorry, I thought you liked faces. Obviously, there's a miscommunication. This is awful, Carl. You're right, it's not nearly as tasteful as I pictured it in my head. I think I'm gonna throw a Oh god, one touched me. This was clearly the wrong way to go. You think, Carl? What can I say? I expected them to be cooked more. Raw face is just gross. But that isn't the problem, Carl. Why would you think any of this was a good idea? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. Oh. I don't understand how you keep forgetting that. Carl! 
I know you've done something. Whatever do you mean? You've always done something. It's a lovely day out. We're having a good time. What have you done? You mistake me for some sort of scoundrel. Carl. I am a respected member of the community to even insinuate. Okay, Carl. So what did you do today? Well, let's see. I washed the car. Uh-huh. I made a donation to the local Girl Scout troop. Sure. I returned an overdue movie at Blockbuster. What else? Mm, I stepped on a ladybug by accident. Go on. And I baked some banana bread for our neighbor, Pat. I believe that's it. Done. That's it. That's all I did today. Oh. Carl, what is that? I may have forgot to mention one of my activities. Carl. I apologize, that was wrong. Explain, Carl. Well, from here, it looks like a weather balloon. I'm not in the mood for this. I think it's just a lens flare and some dust. Just tell me, Carl. Fine. I may have created a crack in space-time through which to collect millions of baby hands. Huh. What do you mean, huh? I think I was expecting worse. Worse? But this is totally fucked, bro. I know, but after last time with a nuke and the faces, it's just... Come on, look at this. How did I even do this? I don't understand how or why you do anything. Do you know what it feels like to be Carl right now? It hurts. Not as much as the babies, but it hurts. Uh, Carl? What? Why are there only hands from white babies? Well, you know, Whitey's gotta pay. Ah. And the payment is baby hands. Aren't you gonna say it? Say what, Carl? That. My name. All offended and annoyed. I'm leaving, Carl. What? I'm moving out. It's the meat conveyor, isn't it? You never were a fan of modern home design. It's a lot of things, Carl. Just let me explain. Efficiency. Industry. Never before has this many dead bodies been so manageable. Carl! I'm the Henry Ford of human meat. I've already packed. I'm not coming back, Carl. Come on. We haven't even gotten to the big surprise yet. I'm sure it's very upsetting. Well, now I don't even want to show you. Good. I do not want to see it. Man, you are being a huge beehole right now. I'm not the one shoving people into a meat grinder. It's not a meat grinder. It's an Orphan stomper. Gross. You know what's gross? Your attitude. Are you serious? What have I done to deserve all this beehole coming out of your mouth? It's everything, Carl. It's everything you've done ever. Everything? Even that time I helped Mrs. Bigsby with her garden? You buried her there. It's what she would have wanted. You buried her alive. She wasn't keeping up with the weeding. As president of the Homeowners Association, I had to take immediate action. All you do is kill people, Carl. That's like saying all Mozart did was write songs. You are completely insane. Oh, weird. That's what all these orphans said. Is that the surprise? No. That looks like a meat dragon. Did you finish your meat dragon, Carl? Maybe. It's horrifying, Carl. Thank you. <coughs> Who, me? <coughs> Whatever could you be referring to? <coughs> oh, the hand chair. I've recently taken up carpentry. <coughs> now, how would you feel if I called your work a monstrosity? <coughs> of course I had to use faces. Anything else would be disrespecting the art. <coughs> It's called modernism, only I've made it more modern by using face parts of city council members. I disagreed with the election results. Someone had to take a stand. I'm a patriot and a hero. Fine. If you're going to whine about it, I can sew them back on. I think their bodies are still in my blood canal. Yes, I'm the crazy one, not the people who elected these buffoons. If you paid any attention to our city charter meetings, you would see it wasn't an overreaction. What are you doing? You're sitting. You never sit. You're always standing, Paul. You're not supposed to sit. I find this very upsetting. You don't even care, do you, about my feelings? Will you please just stand up, Paul? I don't even know who you are anymore. No, you cannot take off the mask. It has to look right when I throw you in the blood canal. Paul? Are you home? Ding dong. Landlord? Pizza delivery? Fire department? Bank manager, you have an appointment? What do you want, Carl? I want to be treated like a friend, Paul. We're not friends anymore. Didn't you get my apology piano? Pianos aren't supposed to bleed and scream. I guess it was less a piano and more a statement on pianos. Why can't you go horrify someone else, Carl? I miss your grumpy face. And the Paul mask I made hasn't helped. It's not grump enough. You made a mask of my face? Yes, and speaking of which, you might want to avoid being seen by federal investigators. Carl! To some, you are now known as Nikolai Sponikov, brutal leader of the Russian opium cartel. Go home, Carl. I'm calling the police. Back Bad idea, Nikolai. And you know there isn't a prison I can't nibble my way out of. I'm dialing. I've got nowhere to go. I burned my house down once it had enough swans inside, and I used up the rest of my savings buying the swans. And whose fault is that, Carl? Society. Society and the swans. Carl, please. I really gave you every chance I could. I just... I can't do it anymore. What if I gave you... Ten million dollars cash. You don't have ten million dollars, Carl. I buried a large chest of doubloons once. I can go dig that up. No, Carl. It was either doubloons or my zoo books. A lot of something is in a hole somewhere. I'm putting on some music, Carl. I'm not listening anymore. Rude. I'm sorry, flesh me is so ungrateful, Carl. And after all we've been through, it's scandalous, I say. You do such incredible things and deserve appreciation. It's okay, he'll come around. 
as soon as the swan piano arrives. You're welcome. Carl, I can't believe you. Uh-oh, what have I done this time? You killed someone and chopped them up, and they're right here on the floor, Carl. I didn't do that. Why would you Why would you think I did such a thing? Carl, all the blood and the, the pieces, you murderer. I think I would have remembered uh, dismembering someone and putting all their bits on the ground right here. That's not the sort of thing I would usually forget about. Carl, I hate you, Carl. I hate you. Oh, watch it. Now who's being hurtful? You, Paul. You. Carl! Who said that? It was me, Carl! Paul? Yes, Carl! You came back. You must finish your work, Carl. My work? There is so much to do. We mustn't dawdle. You said you weren't coming back. Carl! Yeah? Carl! I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Carl! What? What are you planning, Carl? I'm kind of just freestyling it these days, taking things as they come. You're better than that, Carl. You're better. I am, aren't I? You're Carl. I am Carl. Carl! That's me. Carl! You sure like your yelling. Carl! Paul? Carl! I can't see anything. You need to get up, Carl. You're in great danger. Where are we? I'll find a light, Carl. Okay. I, I don't remember how I got here. You need to get out, Carl. Oh, it's my gore pit. You had a terrible fall, Carl. I, I think my legs are broken. You're in danger. You need to get up. How long have I been down here? It feels like a long time. Your work isn't finished, Carl. You have so much more to do. I don't know if I can move, Paul. You must act quickly. Something is down here with us. That's probably the basilisk. It won't bother us. The stupid thing only eats Chipotle! It grows closer. Were you always this creepy, Paul? I'll go find some rope. And some Neosporin if you see a tube. Carl! I know. It's all laughs with old Carl. Paul? Was that you? Maybe it's my stomach making the rumblies. Hungry for hands. Remember that, Paul? Paul? Carl! No luck with the rope. I'm sorry, Carl. You'll need to do this yourself. Well, that's a bummer. Carl! That's not gonna work. I'm in too bad a mood. Carl! All right. Oh, hey, how did all these bodies get down here? You killed all these people, Carl! Collecting piles of human meat is my least favorite thing to do. Carl! I am a rascal, just a no-good troublemaker. That's me. I guess I'm done. You must complete your work, Carl. There's nothing left to complete. It's all gone. Carl! I'm done, Paul. Carl! Why are you still yelling at me? You must complete your work, Carl. All the hands are eaten. All the meat creatures are made, unleashed, and then also eaten. Carl! Yes, it was very upsetting. I can't believe you, Carl. Do you remember the blood vortex in Paris? Carl! Yeah. That was my favorite. Carl! You know what? I don't even think you're really Paul. Of course I am, Carl. I think you're a liar and a cheat. You must finish your work, Carl. I'm gonna go find the real Paul. Carl! I don't think he's gonna be very pleased about all the stuff I've done. It's almost time. Remember the orb thing with all the nerves? It would shock people, then eat their skin? Yes, Carl. Paul is going to be really upset to learn I made that. You're almost done, Carl. When I find the real Paul, I bet he's going to be the most mad at you. Carl! Identity theft. That's a felony. Carl! Yelling, also a felony. Carl! Paul! 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 Are you home? Paul! I'm right here, Carl. No, you're not. You're not Paul. You're an imposter. Paul! Stop it! You must finish your work, Carl. Paul! Paul! You're almost done, Carl. I'm coming in, Paul. I'm sorry if this violates your restraining order, but it's important. Paul! Paul! Oh. I guess you're gone.
I didn't do that. Carl! Carl! Thank you.